what's going on guys welcome back to another video this is going to be episode 10 of building feed this week i got a ton of progress done on the main building that i've been working on for the past few weeks and i think you guys are really going to like it so without further delay let's get right into it so after a few hours i finished this curve here i added in the three sections or i guess the two sections right here to finish this curve all the way around to the front and I actually really like the way that it looks. This was a really challenging thing to figure out. I'll kind of show you guys how I did it. Basically what I had to do was I had to set this in half a plate. So we got some headlight bricks just underneath all of these clips and then some studs. So this is sticking out half a plate from the actual base right here. And then on this, we just have some snot bricks on the end and some clips and like bar pieces just to give myself the range of motion that I needed to get the angle right. And then when I put this back in, it lines up really nicely to finish out this curve. And what I realized after I did this was the distance from the middle of this side section to here was actually one stud less than the distance from this middle section all the way to the back. So I went ahead and changed up the back section now. So this is kind of the same shape now which is good this is the same spacing from the back to the front so it's going to make a better looking circle it's still going to be you know like flat on the sides and then just rounded corners basically but the circular shape will look a little bit better so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is mirror what i had done on this side right here finish out this circle and then i'm going to try to bring out this back wall a little bit to get the shape that i wanted with kind of the rounded section here and then the straight square part on here and then i'll see how that looks starting off i just had to mirror what i had done on the left side of the door so getting all of that stuff figured out was pretty easy but getting this to attach to the next section is always a pain especially because of the way that i was connecting it it's not very strong or stable but eventually i got there so i made a bunch more progress and i finished the entire circle part of it now so one thing that I have to decide is whether or not I want this to come back all the way to kind of the middle like I have here, or do I want it to be how I have it right now, which is just two sections. So it's about here. So it's like a little bit more than half. It's probably two thirds of a curve. You still get that curved look, but you have more room for the regular section of the building. So I'm not sure exactly. I'm probably going to just finish it out so that I have that kind of three quarter circle. But I do kind of like the way this looks and it was nice because it just lined up perfectly with this. I didn't have to do anything. So that is one thing, but overall I'm really, really happy with this. I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, it's not something that you see a lot, especially in tan because the rounded parts selection is so limited, but I'm really, really happy with it. I think it adds a great amount of curvature and interest to the mock in general it's a lot more interesting to look at something with weird curves and angles and stuff than it is to just look at a boring box so that was my idea with this and i'm really happy with it so far so i'll go ahead and continue working on the back section so i decided to go ahead and make it that full three quarters of a circle so at this point i'm figuring out the size of how big i want this to be so I'm building this section and I'm figuring out where I want the window to go. And I have an idea that I wanna try out for the window design. So I'm trying to keep that in mind as I build this. And then I've ripped down that old wall that I had there and I'm putting in a new one, trying to add in as many details as I can while just keeping it kind of in line with the rest of the mock. And then it came time to try to figure out this final section of the curved wall. I ended up just having to add an extra stud to the second section and then making a full third section. And then I figured out how to connect it, which actually went way smoother than I was expecting. So that was really nice. And then for the roof, I had a design that I kind of wanted to try, which was using these clips, as you can see that I'm placing here. And basically you just put the clips and then in the middle of the clips, you can attach some tiles. They just kind of hold on to the middle there. And then I'm putting in these bars to kind of hide some gaps that I couldn't really get rid of or that I could, but it would just take a while. And then I'm adding in some tan and the one by three slopes were too small of an angle and the one by two slopes were actually too big. 
So I ended up using these curved slopes and they fit right in the middle and gave me the look that I was looking for. All right, so I went ahead and cleaned up my setup a little bit, but I have made a ton of progress on this house. There are some times when you're building where everything just seems to fall into place and you kind of just, you almost don't even think about what you're doing. Everything just lines up and fits in perfectly. That happened when I was building this. This was just like a two or three hour session of just sitting down and building nonstop. And the result is just amazing. I'm so happy with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus this and zoom out and give you guys a better look. So this is the design for the building that I've got going on so far, and I'm just so happy with it. The main idea was to have this be like a rounded area and then have this back section, this corner be just straight. And originally I wanted to have this come out more, but then I would have had to reroute the wiring connecting to this light and it's all underneath all of these tiles and the bricks and everything underneath this entire section. So I wanted to start by building it this way and see how I liked it before I went ahead and ripped everything up. And I'm really happy that I did because the look that this gives is almost like an addition to the house or just a more interesting design architecturally. And I'm really, really happy with it. It looks really nice and I'm really happy that I didn't go ahead and rip everything up because the way that this turned out is really nice and satisfactory. There was a couple different things with this that I wanted to try. And the first thing was I wanted to use these arch pieces to outline the window. And I like this way more than the kind of design that I have on this window back here. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna switch the one back here to be more like this. Chances are I probably will because it's a little bit easier and is also way more accurate to Theed and just looks more like something that you would see on Theed. So really, really happy with that. I used kind of the same design for the actual window itself, but now it's a full stud in the wall behind these arches instead of it being a half a plate. So kind of like that a lot. And the flower box is the same. I changed up some of the colors and added in you know, different pieces and stuff like that. But the main section is the roof. I was trying to figure out how I wanted to do this. And originally I wanted to have the seating area with chairs and tables and stuff up here, but I wasn't gonna have enough room because I was using this like four to six stud area here. So what I ended up deciding was to have this like sloped roof. And this design was inspired by my friend Jack or Hydrave by a mock that he made and brought to Brick Fair, Virginia last year that hasn't been fully completed, but he has a ton of this technique going on. So as you could probably see in the time-lapse, it's a bunch of clips underneath here, and then you kind of stick the tiles on the inside of the clips. So two clips equals one tile in the middle of them. And then on the end, it's just held in by tension of these walls kind of pushing in on them. And the wall actually turned out really nice, but the problem I was having was the bottom section here. There was a little bit of a gap because of the inset that I was using to get those. So I could have fixed it, but it would have taken a lot of time and a lot of figuring out. So I decided to just use some gray bars to kind of trace it out. And I'm really, really happy with the way this looks. It adds in such a Star Wars kind of look and it really, really looks nice. So I'm thinking of trying to use more of this going around the rest of the mock. And I'll kind of just give you guys a look at the window. Everything is the same as the design over here, except that I made the top part of the window only one stud long instead of the two studs. So I have three studs at the bottom and then one at the top, which I still think looks pretty nice. And then I do have just gray at the top there that you can't really see, but it is its own you know, window design and it's inset to the wall one full stud instead of this one over here being half of a stud. So I actually kind of like the full stud and definitely the arch piece really, really helps out and makes it look a lot nicer. And then for the flower box, I actually added in some different pieces. As you can see, there's a bright green piece right there instead of the green one by one stud. And then I threw in this bright green piece as well. And I kind of like the way that it's a little bit different. And moving over here, you can kind of see what the piping looks like. I tried to add in some detail to this side wall, like some of the dark tan, which I don't love, but it's acceptable. I want to add in some more of that 
going around. And then I did some more over here, which I like a lot better. This was kind of built right into the wall. And as you can see, that's a dark tan cheese slope on this curved section. And then coming all the way back, you can see the full kind of rounded area with the door and now this section over here. And I just really, really like the way this looks. It's such a cool design. And if all the buildings look something like this or just have some kind of visual interest, then I think that this mock is really going in the right direction. So that is the progress that I got done this week. All right, guys, that is going to wrap up episode 10 of Building Feed. I'm really liking how this building is turning out and I'm super happy with the amount of progress that I was able to get done. I had a lot of stuff going on this week, but I was still able to make a lot of progress on the mock and I'm even more excited to just keep on going and finish this mock and I can't wait to see what it looks like when everything is all said and done. If you guys are interested in the lights that I'm using in this mock, they are Light My Bricks and I have a code or a link that will give you $10 off your first purchase. So if you guys are interested in that, go ahead and click the link at the top right corner of your screen. But that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Goodbye.